Mac Shetty. Your host of Hank. say Brown is the greatest high school player I've ever seen anytime, anywhere. Boys, Wingate play the big one. Hawkins will face Brown, and that's exactly what happened. They went head-to-head. -head. And Roger showed the guy how to play basketball. He took him outside, he took him inside, he was throwing jump shots, like you said, from Needix, from 8th Avenue. It's the thing that uh, fables are passed down from generations to generations, only this one was true. Yeah. <laughs> they pulled him out of college. They had no clue what was going on. Locked him in a whole hotel, hotel room in Manhattan for a week. Grilled the hell out of him. What he did was they knew Jack Jones. Big deal. Every kid in a ghetto, in every ghetto in the country, knows the numbers got to be drug dealers. Believe me, they know. Cause I knew it myself. Fan for life. Are you kidding me? <laughs> All the things the guys have done in this world, and they get a second chance, and a third chance, and a book of chances, and Connie Hawkins and Roger Brown, who did nothing, and they're banned. He was robbed of his prime, his prime years. Those were all-star years. Those were history-making years. There's a player I know of in Dayton, Ohio, that you should take a look at. I think I think he could... It could, it could make him help your basketball team. If the big old recommends him, he's got to be pretty good. He was just incredible. He really was. He rocked this city. The Pacers were the class of the league. Roger was the class of the class. Couldn't nobody guard him one on one. I mean, you know, come on, man. You know how they say they can't guard Kobe one on one. They can't guard Michael one on one. They can't guard Roger Brown one on one. And he'd make you fake, fake right, left, boom, jump shot, little quick step. One, two, fake right, back left, jump shot, fake left, go right, two different jump shot, and that's what he did. <laughs> and he did a he did a very good job of it also. He was a playoff player. He was a money player with the money ball. I mean, when you came to the wire in a ball game, I mean this is when this guy really turned it on. He always talked about using the tools of basketball for other reasons. Get your education, go back into your community, uplift your community. Went into politics, uh, law enforcement. So he became a model off the court as much as on the court. That said something about him as a person, that he cared about the city as well as the sports team. I paced the floor, started crying. And he was a man I looked up to. He was ill. He, he can't. He can't die. And, uh, you know, he kind of looked out the car and he goes, wow. He goes, I wonder if this will be the last time I see this guy. And it really was. Oh, man. I mean, this guy is like a great athlete. Like you said, like a god. How do you die? Only ABA guys and playground guys really know who Roger Brown really is. You know, I mean, I mean, it's a shame, man. Jordan, um, Oscar Robertson, Jerry West. I mean, I think he was in that category of player. Top 50 all time. I put him in the top 50. Easily. He can knock a few guys off that list. <laughs> top 10. I'll put him up against anybody. You put him in that last two minutes, I'll put him up against anybody. He would have been known as one of the best players in the history of the game. And I don't think he got that chance. What he went through and what he had to overcome and what he made of his life, pretty neat. Pretty neat. Now it's up to us to tell the story because not many people know number 35.